break halfway and my mouth's like bop, bop. I need to shut up, that's what I need to do. Today I'm off to a meeting, another meeting for the morning. This afternoon I actually have to ship lamb. Oh, I split my lip. I think I have to ship 20 of 25 lambs this week. Um, yeah, so that is today. So I'm on the road all day. It's gonna take me all day. <gasps> my cows look so happy. So this is my like, I don't know if you can see me very well, like my 26th vlog, I think. I, d I don't know, <laughs> is this what you guys want to see? Like I, I'm not really sure on how to vlog or what, to, I don't think there's any rules. So I find it, I just take my phone with me and then if I'm doing something interesting, then I turn my phone on. If I have the time and I'm in the right headspace for it. I'll, I'll rewind like a year ago. I actually uh, messaged Cody Creelman. You can find him, Cody Creelman Calvet, on uh, YouTube. He's been actually the one that I've totally, I'm never gonna, I'll, like, I'll never be a Cody. He, he's got his stuff figured out. I do not. But he's the one that I'm like, you know what? This is what farmers need to do because so many less people live on farms that, um, that like I think I think what we do is fairly interesting um, and then on the other side of me my doubter is like who gives a crap they just want to know that foods in the store and and uh, and their brand is there when they want it because that's how I'm that's how I shop but this I've had this fire in me this drive in me to do this for so long and I've and um, and when Cody came out with his I was like yes um, he puts everything on there that like he puts his light like he puts the postmortems on it he just does it and you gain a lot of respect and trust I think when you show people the good the bad and the ugly it also has been really good for reflecting reflection uh, journaling like um, going back and seeing that actually got some, some days we come in at the end of the day and I, I feel like I've got nothing accomplished. Um, those are the days where I'm really glad I've been videoing it because I do, I do indeed do stuff. Journaling is kind of good. I just not a dear diary. I like don't do that stuff. So this has been good. I don't know if anyone else has this thing with video or even um, radio or like sound we don't sound the way we think we sound and it, it drives me absolutely insane my face is weird and funny and the editing gets easier this one's gonna be a really hard one to edit because I'm talking all the time and talking is really really hard to edit because I'm always talking and I don't break I need to break so I can cut and then go on, not like break halfway and my mouth's like bop, bop. I need to shut up, that's what I need to do. Just got home and I got to change out of that into some barn clothes, which I prefer to be in anyway. <sighs> This meeting stuff is hard. It's not my thing. It's not my jam. But important to the industry. Fun, fun, fun. Just unloaded lambs, and now I'm on uh, 
course I get a call from Jack, who is taking driver's ed right now, his last one. If I'm in the area, pick me up in 35 minutes. But the problem is, he's an hour and a half away. Not really sure how I'm gonna do that. I had 30 lambs, 26 of them were mine, and four of them was uh, a friend of mine. He ships through the same people that I do. What are these guys doing? Just get off the damn road! Ugh, oh, man, I got a trailer. Just shoot the breeze in the middle of the highway. That's okay. Tomorrow I have a funeral, a very sad day. I am saying goodbye to my grandfather who um, meant the world to me, actually. He is probably, was my most favorite person in the world. We were very fortunate growing up. We lived right beside my grandparents on the farm. Grandpa, he was a tinkerer, so he's always in his shop. He built boats. He built boats from scratch. He built tractors. He rebuilt tractors. He built our lawnmowers. He built, he just was amazing. For these people that really didn't go off to school and do things, they were, they, they had brilliant hands and brilliant minds and common sense that none of us, none of us have anymore. My memories of him are just so profound and so deep and so uh, happy that it makes me really sad. So anyway, I'm bucking it up and I'm getting all these jobs done today because tomorrow I really want to take the time and honor him. Okay, I composed myself. I think I'm okay to get through this. Grandma, I just remember always, always going into the house barely see going into the house sitting on the counter while she like cooked and stuff which I like watching people do it I just don't like doing it myself that was my memory of my grandma or going out with mom and grandma they go out for coffee which I realize now as an adult that was their time to go out and vent and complain about their husbands the farm the neighbors it's hilarious because I do it now it's funny um, and they go out for pie and coffee. That was their thing. Now I go out with my girlfriends, we drink wine. Now I, I see my daughter and she hangs out with me and my friends sometimes. And I'm like, oh my God, she's probably totally getting schooled like I did. And my memories of grandpa were um, yeah, running up to the shop and grandpa, grandpa, I have a cool idea. Um, my sister actually reminded me of this and she's like, what, what man? on the farm would stop what he was doing. He was probably like doing something legit. And we had the desire to have stilts. Stilts, like still, wood stilts. He stopped what he was doing, he made us stilts. Like, he was just that guy. Oh man, he was the one that taught me how to drive tractors. He's the one that watched and tried to teach me how to back up stuff, back up a wagon, which, always ended in tears and me running away because I was so pissed off. And now Mark and Brett, the guy that works with us, they just sit there and, and they wait for me to either cry, swear, which there's an order. They watch that and they just, they stand there and just watch because it's entertainment for them. But grandpa was the first one that had the patience to try to, to try. God bless him. They used to take us McDonald's for hot fudge sundaes. I used to love it when mom and dad went away because we got to stay there and grandma was like totally OCD and her house was so clean. It was freaking sweet. It was like a hotel, staying at a hotel. All these little memories. Pretty boring vlog today. I'm tired of hearing myself talk. Do the Cody Crim and Palm Bump. Done.